All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Uh, yes, in the state of North Carolina. So I do a lot of traveling. You guys see me up there in the state of Pennsylvania and everything. So let me catch you up to speed on what's going on in the world of 3Gun. I just was uh, notified by Mr. Ray, uh, Mr. X-Ring himself, that man, we can't put optics on our shotgun. Thank God, because the things were not working out for the old shotgun with the optic on it. We're going to figure that out later on. However, we can put and... Well, on and remove our bipods yes all right so first thing before we start i just want to give a big shout out to the guys over there at trigger tech and we're going to be doing a review on this guy right here this is the trigger tech diamond but this is zero creep the other one the regular diamond has a little bit of creep this one has zero creep in it I'm really excited about doing that i also want to give a big shout out to my brother mike uh marine corps pilot uh, retired, all that cool thing. And uh, he went from flying wide body uh, airliners to doing this. This is a thing called a charcuterie board. And it was pretty cool as we're going to put some bourbon on top of this and some jump wings, some other really cool stuff. But anyway, I uh, just want to give a big real shout out to him. If you guys are interested in that, shoot me a link down below, man. Look at this. This is bad to the bone. If you are into firearms, that's the way it is. All right. So what are we doing here, guys? This has kind of been in the works for a long, long time. This is called the Constitutional Carry for North Carolina. Now, let me start off by saying Constitutional Carry is a really unique thing in that not only, well, North Carolina is an open carry state. If you can legally own a firearm you can walk around with it on the outside of your body exposed uh and you can go anywhere firearms are allowed so that's pretty cool i remember when i went up to pennsylvania but he said hey we got open carry but you guys don't have that and i said like, yeah we've had it for as long as i can remember so anyway tomorrow there's going to be a vote at the house on constitutional carry now what's the big deal here there's going to be a lot of anti-gun groups there who are going to be demonstrating against this so there's kind of a call to action for the guys who are really hot and heavy into this thing and i'm just going to read this this is directly from the guys over there at gun owners of america one of my favorite you know uh, <laughs> favorite go-to action groups they actually do what they say they're going to do they take the money that they make and i'm not trying to sell anything but let's talk about this dear friend all right this week will be a huge week for the your right to keep and bear arms in the tar hill state the j2 committee hearing for hb 189 constitutional carry will be tuesday at 11 a.m a uh, follow-on rules committee hearing later in the day. Exact times will not be known until after 11 a.m. with the jury hearing. However, we expect my brothers over there messing around with stuff. You can just be 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 still, okay? Thank you. Be still. You 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 can leave if you want to. Okay, so he's gonna walk out the door this week. We need pro gun people at the general assembly who can overflow committee hearings wearing we support HB 189 constitutional carry stickers. Stickers will be available on site. This is huge, guys. If you're available, it's to be really cool if you guys could be there. Uh, please note the opposition to this bill is organized and defiant. Of course they are. You got moms that make action now. They are evil, sadistic individuals. They will attempt to delay and obstruct us in their efforts to keep this bill's passage from meeting the Thursday, May 4th crossover deadline. Now, you got to understand that the House <coughs> has a, uh, they cannot, they can override a veto from, uh, what is this dumbass we got as a, a governor here, Roy Cooper. Uh, of course, even the bipartisan supermajority legislative support, we expect anti liberty, anti gun. Governor Cooper to veto this bill. However, your voices will, we will override his veto just as we overrode his veto on SB 41. Teams will assemble at 8.30 a.m. on each side outside the printed bills, outside print, printed bills in the Jones St. Building. Ask security to direct you if unfamiliar where you may be. Okay, so I'm just going to put the link down below, Gunners of America, this thing. Otherwise, look for the two guys pictured here. All right, I'll post a picture right there. Yeah, roaming the halls of the legislator throughout the day. Uh, they won't be hard to find. The location of the J2 committee hearing is in the Legislative Office Building, Room 544, beginning at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, May 2nd. Guys, this is pretty big. All right. I have no doubt in my mind that this thing's going to pass and we'll push it through and Governor Cooper can do one of these things. Okay. Mark Johnson is one of the coolest guys. I think he's still involved in this thing. I think he's getting ready to start running his run for the uh, governorship, which would be really cool. 
Uh, while HB 189 will establish constitutional carry for concealed firearms, here are two important points about the bill. Now, this is very important. I kind of made a point on this earlier. HB 189 does not repeal the North Carolina's concealed handgun permit with this bill. North Carolina is an open carry state, and this bill merely expands a lawful, a lawful open carry to include lawful concealed carry within North Carolina. Over 866,000 North Carolinians possess a valid North Carolina concealed handgun permit. This allows reciprocity <laughs> with many states and allows for a NICS point of sale background check bypass when you purchase firearms from licensed FFLs. In other words, if in North Carolina, if you've got a carry concealed, I can walk in there, pop the information down there, and fill out 4473, and you're out the door. You don't have to go through a NICS. HB 189 does not allow prohibited persons to carry a concealed firearm under any concern circumstances and we mentioned it before legally allowed to carry a firearm only those individuals who can meet the conditions for the issue of a concealed handgun permit will be permitted to lawfully carry a concealed handgun in north carolina without said permit under this bill so there's give and take on this thing okay it doesn't mean anybody and everybody can carry one you got to be able to legally own a firearm if you cannot attend in person please contact your state representative and urge the passage of hb 189 thanks in advance for taking action with your help we can make north carolina the 28th constitutional carry state andy stevens north carolina state director of gun owners of america love these guys that would be insane guys let me know what your thoughts are down below if you can make it out there please please do do the link down there if you want to make a donation to these guys be kind of cool if you did with that being said we always end them like this god bless america god bless his men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms freedom is not free if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so also we're going to be doing a real quick review on this guy okay i can't show an actual installation but I sure as can install it and show you the before and after. I'm actually running the Trigger Tech Diamond, which has what they call a two stage. And Mark, no, it doesn't. It's kind of a creep, but this is zero creep. Y'all be good. I'm KB32, and in the infamous words of the real Cobra Burnout, <laughs> Cobra Burnout, <laughs> I'm out of here. Boom! There you go.